The 25 Most Famous Buildings in the History of the World Number 25. Leaning Tower of Pisa, Italy the Leaning Tower of Pisa is a freestanding bell tower of the cathedral in the city of Pisa, in the Tuscany region of Italy. Known for its unintended tilt, the tower is a medieval architectural icon and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. Construction began in 1173 and stretched over nearly 200 years due to interruptions from wars and financial issues. The tilt began during the construction of the second floor, caused by an inadequate foundation and unstable ground composed of clay and sand. Architects attempted to compensate for the tilt by building the upper floors with one side higher than the other, resulting in a slight curve in the shape of the tower. The tower stands approximately 56 meters high on its tallest side and has eight floors, including the loggia housing the bells. The architectural design is Romanesque, featuring decorative columns and arches. Over the centuries, numerous efforts have been made to stabilize the tower and prevent it from collapsing. In the 1990s, an engineering project reduced the tilt from 5.5 degrees to around 3.97 degrees, ensuring the structure's stability for the foreseeable future. Number 24. Louvre Museum, France. The Louvre Museum, located in Paris, is the world's largest art museum and a historic monument. Opened in 1793, the Louvre houses a collection of over 380,000 objects and 35,000 works of art spanning from prehistory to the 21st century. The Louvre building is a former royal palace that has been expanded and renovated over the centuries. In 1989, the famous glass pyramid designed by Chinese-American architect I. M. Pei was added as the main entrance, blending historic architecture with modern design. The Louvre's collections are vast and varied, including Egyptian, Greek, Roman, Islamic, and Oriental antiquities as well as European paintings, sculptures, and decorative arts. Among its most famous works are Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa, the Venus de Milo, the Winged Victory of Samothrace, and Eugene Delacroix's Liberty Leading the People. The museum is organized into eight curatorial departments and covers 72,735 square meters of exhibition space. It is visited by over 10 million people each year, making it the most visited museum in the world. The Louvre is not only a center for exhibitions but also for research and education, with programs and activities promoting the appreciation of art and culture. Its importance in preserving and disseminating cultural heritage is immeasurable. The Louvre Museum symbolizes France's cultural wealth and the universal value of art as a means to understand history and the human experience. Its combination of architecture, history, and exceptional collections makes it a must-visit for art lovers and tourists worldwide. Number 23. Golden Gate Bridge, United States. Inaugurated in 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge is an iconic symbol of San Francisco, California, and one of the engineering marvels of the 20th century. Designed by engineer Joseph Strauss, the bridge connects the city of San Francisco with Marin County, spanning the strait known as the Golden Gate, which links San Francisco Bay with the Pacific Ocean. With a total length of 2.7 kilometers and a distance between towers of 1,280 meters, the bridge was the longest suspension bridge in the world when it opened. Its towers reach a height of 227 meters, and the main cables are 92 centimeters in diameter, each made up of 27,572 steel wires. The bridge is recognized for its distinctive international orange color chosen for its visibility in San Francisco's frequent fog as well as its aesthetic harmony with the natural surroundings. 
architect Irving Morrow selected this color to complement the landscape while also making the bridge stand out. The construction of the Golden Gate Bridge presented significant challenges, including strong currents, high winds, and the deep water of the strait. Safety measures implemented during its construction, such as a safety net beneath the bridge, saved many workers' lives and set new standards in the industry. Number 22. Neuschwanstein Castle, Germany. Located in the Bavarian Mountains near Fussen, Germany, Neuschwanstein Castle is a masterpiece of 19th-century Romantic architecture. Commissioned by King Ludwig II of Bavaria in 1869, the castle was designed as a private retreat and homage to the operas of composer Richard Wagner, whom the king deeply admired. Designed by scenic artist Christian Jenk and architects Eduard Riedel and Georg von Dahlmann, the castle combines elements of Romanesque, Gothic, and Byzantine styles, creating an idealized version of medieval castles. Perched on a hilltop, its slender towers and turrets give it a fairy tale appearance. The castle's interior is richly decorated with murals and furnishings depicting scenes from Germanic legends and Wagner's operas, such as Tristan und Isolde and Parsifal. Notable rooms include the Byzantine inspired Throne Hall and the Singer's Hall, modeled after Wartburg Castle. King Ludwig lived in the castle for only a brief period before his mysterious death in 1886. The castle was never completed, and shortly after his death, it was opened to the public. Since then, Neuschwanstein has attracted millions of visitors and inspired artists and creators, including Walt Disney, who used the castle as the model for Sleeping Beauty's castle in Disneyland. Number 21. Forbidden City, China. Situated in the heart of Beijing, the Forbidden City is an extensive palace complex that served as the imperial residence and political center of the Ming and Qing dynasties from 1420 to 1912. Built under the orders of Emperor Yongle of the Ming Dynasty, the Forbidden City is the largest ancient palace complex in the world with over 980 buildings and 8,700 rooms covering an area of 72 hectares. The design of the Forbidden City strictly follows feng shui principles and traditional Chinese symbolism. Surrounded by a 10-meter high wall and a 52-meter wide moat, the buildings are arranged along a north-south axis, with the Hall of Supreme Harmony, the largest ceremonial building, at its center. The architecture of the Forbidden City is a prime example of traditional Chinese palatial style, with yellow tiled roofs, the imperial color, elaborate decorations, and red pillars. Ornamental details and sculptures represent symbols of power, longevity, and harmony, including dragons, phoenixes, and lions. For nearly 500 years, the Forbidden City was the heart of imperial power, where emperors lived isolated from the outside world. Access was strictly limited, giving the complex its name. After the abdication of the last emperor, Puyi, in 1912, the site was converted into the Palace Museum in 1925. Number 20. Palace of Versailles, France. The Palace of Versailles, located about 20 kilometers southwest of Paris, is one of the world's most famous and opulent palaces. Originally a modest hunting lodge built by Louis XIII in 1623, it was transformed and expanded by his son, King Louis XIV, into a magnificent royal residence and seat of French political power starting in 1682. Designed by architects Louis Laval and Jules Hardwin Mansart, the palace is an exceptional example of French classical architecture. It has more than 2,300 rooms, including the famous Hall of Mirrors, a sumptuous gallery 73 meters long, adorned with 357 mirrors that reflect the light from its windows and crystal chandeliers. 
The interiors are richly decorated with artwork, tapestries, furniture, and sculptures celebrating the glory and power of the Sun King. The Gardens of Versailles, designed by André Lenotre, are equally impressive, featuring geometric parterres, fountains, statues, and the Grand Canal, which reflects Louis XIV's passion for order and grandeur. The palace was the setting for significant historical events, including the signing of the Treaty of Versailles in 1919, which ended World War I after the French Revolution, it ceased to be a royal residence and was converted into a museum of French history by King Louis-Philippe in 1837. Number 19. Guggenheim Museum Bilbao, Spain. Inaugurated in 1997, the Guggenheim Museum Bilbao is a masterpiece of contemporary architecture designed by Canadian-American architect Frank Gehry. Located along the Nervion River in Bilbao, Spain, the museum is known for its curving forms and innovative use of materials such as titanium, glass, and limestone. The museum's design is itself a monumental sculpture, with titanium panels that shimmer and change color with the light and weather. The building's undulating, organic forms reflect the maritime and industrial traditions of Bilbao, creating a dynamic interaction between architecture and its urban surroundings. The interior of the museum offers 11,000 square meters of exhibition space, including a 130-meter-long gallery known as the Fish Gallery, one of the world's largest column-free galleries. The museum houses a collection of modern and contemporary art, with works by artists such as Richard Serra, Jeff Koons, and Anish Kapoor. The impact of the Guggenheim Museum Bilbao goes beyond its architectural and artistic value. It has served as a catalyst for economic and cultural revitalization in the city and region, a phenomenon known as the Bilbao Effect. The transformation of a declining industrial area into a tourist and cultural center has been studied and emulated in other cities worldwide. Number 18. Empire State Building, United States. The Empire State Building, an Art Deco skyscraper located at the intersection of Fifth Avenue and 34th Street in Midtown Manhattan, New York, was inaugurated in 1931. At 381 meters tall, 443.2 meters including the antenna, and with 102 floors, it was the world's tallest building for nearly 40 years until the completion of the World Trade Center's North Tower in 1970. Designed by the architectural firm Shreve, Lamb & Harmon, the Empire State Building was constructed in a record-breaking 13 months during the Great Depression, providing jobs for thousands. Its iconic design, with setbacks and a limestone and aluminum facade, exemplifies the elegance and optimism of the Art Deco era. The building is famous for its observation decks on the 86th and 102nd floors, which offer panoramic views of New York City and attract over 4 million visitors annually. The tower lights, which change color to commemorate events and occasions, have become a tradition and a symbol of the city. The Empire State Building has appeared in numerous films and TV shows, solidifying its status as a cultural icon. Memorable scenes include King Kong, 1933, and An Affair to Remember, 1957, contributing to its worldwide fame. Number 17. St. Peter's Basilica, Vatican City. St. Peter's Basilica, located in Vatican City, is one of the most sacred and iconic buildings of the Catholic Church. Built over the tomb of the Apostle St. Peter, it is considered the largest church in the world by interior space and is one of the most important pilgrimage sites for Catholics. The construction of the current basilica began in 1506 under Pope Julius II and was completed in 1626 under Pope Urban VIII. 
The project involved some of the greatest architects and artists of the Renaissance and Baroque periods, including Donato Bramante, Michelangelo, Carlo Maderno, and Gian Lorenzo Bernini. The architectural design is a synthesis of styles and innovative concepts. Michelangelo was responsible for the monumental dome, which rises to a height of 136 meters and dominates the Roman skyline. The dome, inspired by the Pantheon and Florence Cathedral, is a masterpiece of engineering and artistry, symbolizing the universality and majesty of the church. The basilica's interior is awe-inspiring in scale and artistic richness, featuring masterpieces such as Michelangelo's Pietà, a sculpture depicting the Virgin Mary holding the body of Christ. Bernini's nearly 30-meter-tall bronze baldachin, marking St. Peter's tomb, is a prime example of Baroque art. St. Peter's Square, also designed by Bernini, is an urban planning marvel. Its colonnades represent the church's open arms, welcoming the faithful. The square has hosted countless religious and historical events, including canonizations, papal blessings, and funerals. Number 16. Alhambra, Spain. The Alhambra, located in Granada, Andalusia, is a palace and fortress complex representing one of the finest examples of Islamic architecture in Europe. Built primarily in the 14th century during the reign of the Nazra dynasty, the last Muslim kingdom on the Iberian Peninsula, the Alhambra showcases the sophistication and grandeur of Islamic culture in Spain. The name Alhambra derives from the Arabic al kala al-Hamra, meaning the Red Fortress, a reference to the reddish hue of its clay walls. The complex includes palaces, courtyards, gardens, and fortifications, and is strategically situated on a hill with views of Granada and the Sierra Nevada mountains. The Nazra palaces are the heart of the Alhambra, known for their exquisite decoration, including intricate stuccos, tiles, wooden carvings, and Arabic calligraphy. The Court of the Lions is a highlight, featuring a fountain supported by 12 lion statues, surrounded by arcades with slender columns. The General Life, the Sultan's Summer Palace, is an oasis of peace with courtyards, pools, fountains, and a variety of plants and flowers. These gardens are designed to stimulate the senses and reflect the Islamic concept of paradise. Number 15. Stonehenge, United Kingdom. Located on the Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England, Stonehenge is one of the world's most famous and enigmatic prehistoric monuments. It consists of a circle of standing stones that date from between 3000 and 2000 BCE. Its construction and purpose have fascinated and puzzled scholars for centuries. The monument comprises large sandstone sarsen blocks and smaller bluestones, some transported from as far as 250 kilometers away. The precision of the stone's alignment suggests advanced astronomical knowledge and geometric understanding among its builders. Stonehenge aligns with the movements of the sun, particularly during the summer and winter solstices, indicating it may have served as a calendar or a site for religious ceremonies related to celestial observation. However, its exact function remains a mystery, with theories ranging from a religious temple to a burial site and even a healing center. Archaeological excavations have revealed insights into the Neolithic and Bronze Age societies that built it, as well as evidence of surrounding ceremonial structures, such as Durrington Walls and Avebury, suggesting Stonehenge was part of a broader ceremonial landscape. Number 14. Burj Khalifa, United Arab Emirates. Opened in 2010, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai is the tallest skyscraper in the world, reaching an astonishing height of 828 meters and 163 floors. 
Designed by architect Adrian Smith while at Skidmore, Owings and Merrill, the Burj Khalifa is a feat of modern engineering and a symbol of Dubai's ambition and growth. The building's design is inspired by the geometry of the Hymenopolis flower and Islamic patterns, creating a Y-shaped base that provides structural stability and panoramic views. The structure tapers as it ascends, culminating in a spire that adds height and elegance. The Burj Khalifa houses luxury hotels, private residences, corporate offices, restaurants, and observation decks. The, at the top, observation deck on the 124th floor and, at the top sky, on the 148th floor offer breathtaking views of the city and surrounding desert. Constructing the Burj Khalifa involved innovative techniques and advanced materials. Special concrete mixes were used to withstand the desert's high temperatures, and a unique pumping system enabled concrete to be poured at record heights. The glass and aluminum facade is designed to withstand extreme temperatures and reduce energy consumption. Number 13. Sydney Opera House, Australia. Opened in 1973, the Sydney Opera House is one of the most distinctive and renowned buildings of the 20th century and an iconic symbol of Australia. Designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzon, who won an international competition in 1957, the structure is recognized for its characteristic sails, or shells, that form its roof. The Opera House's sculptural design features a series of concrete shells clad in white and cream ceramic tiles that reflect sunlight, changing hue with weather and time of day. The curving forms evoke images of sails, waves, or seashells, harmonizing beautifully with Sydney Harbour and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The Opera House's construction was a complex and controversial project that faced technical, financial, and political challenges. Utzon resigned in 1966 due to disagreements with authorities, and the building was completed by a local team. In 1999, Utzon was invited back to consult on renovation and planning projects, and a performance hall was named in his honor. The Opera House interior includes multiple performance halls, including a concert hall seating 2,679 and an opera theater. It hosts a variety of events, from opera and symphony performances to theater, dance, and contemporary music. Number 12. Eiffel Tower, France. The Eiffel Tower, located in the Champ de Mars in Paris, is one of the world's most recognizable and visited monuments. Constructed between 1887 and 1889 for the 1889 World's Fair, commemorating the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution, the tower was designed by engineer Gustave Eiffel and his team. Standing at an original height of 300 meters, 324 meters with antennas, the Eiffel Tower was the tallest structure in the world until 1930. Made of wrought iron, it weighs around 10,100 tons and consists of three public access levels, each offering panoramic views of the city. Building the tower was an engineering marvel, utilizing 18,038 pieces of iron and over 2.5 million rivets. Despite initial criticism from artists and intellectuals who viewed it as an eyesore, the tower became an immediate success and a symbol of modernity and technological innovation. Over its history, the Eiffel Tower has been used for radio and television transmissions, scientific experiments, and even during World War I to intercept enemy communications. Today, it hosts cultural, sports, and artistic events, making it a dynamic symbol of Paris. Number 11. Notre Dame Cathedral, France. Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris is a Gothic architectural gem and one of France's most emblematic monuments. Located on the Ile de la Cité, in the heart of Paris, 
The cathedral's construction began in 1163 and was largely completed by 1345. The cathedral is famous for its architectural innovations, including flying buttresses that allowed for taller walls and larger windows, filling the interior with light through impressive stained glass, such as the West Rose window. The gargoyles and chimeras that adorn the façade and towers serve both as drains and decorative elements, adding character and symbolism. Notre Dame has witnessed significant historical events, including the coronation of Napoleon Bonaparte in 1804 and the beatification of Joan of Arc in 1909. The cathedral also gained fame through Victor Hugo's novel, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, 1831, which highlighted its cultural importance and spurred restoration efforts. On April 15, 2019, a devastating fire destroyed much of the roof and spire. The world watched as firefighters fought to save the structure, and fortunately, the main structure, towers, and many artworks and relics were preserved. Restoration efforts are ongoing to bring this beloved monument back to its former glory. Number 10. Sagrada Familia, Spain. The Basilica of the Sagrada Familia, located in Barcelona, is an unfinished masterpiece by Catalan architect Antony Gaudi and one of the most extraordinary examples of modernist architecture. Construction began in 1882, and Gaudi dedicated the rest of his life to this project, which has since become his most significant legacy. The Sagrada Familia blends Gothic and modernist elements with unique structural and aesthetic innovations. Gaudi designed the basilica to have 18 towers representing the 12 apostles, the four evangelists, the Virgin Mary, and Jesus Christ. The facades are richly decorated with sculptures and symbols that narrate biblical stories, reflecting Gada's deep connection to nature and spirituality. The basilica's interior is awe-inspiring, with columns resembling trees and a vault reaching 45 meters in height. Natural light filters through colorful stained glass windows, creating a mystical and contemplative atmosphere. Gaudi used three-dimensional models and advanced geometry to develop innovative forms and structures. After Gada's death in 1926, construction continued under various architects, facing challenges such as the Spanish Civil War and controversies over fidelity to the original design. Despite these obstacles, construction has progressed, with an anticipated completion in the coming decades. Number 9. Hagia Sophia, Turkey. Hagia Sophia, Hagia Sophia in Turkish, located in Istanbul, is a masterpiece of Byzantine architecture and a monument that has served various roles over centuries, from a church to a mosque and later a museum. Built between 532 and 537 under Emperor Justinian I, it was designed by mathematicians and engineers Isidore of Miletus and Anthemus of Trails. Hagia Sophia is renowned for its massive central dome, which rises 55 meters high and spans 31 meters in diameter. At its time, it was the largest dome in the world and an unprecedented architectural achievement. The structure combines a basilica layout with a centralized building, creating a vast and luminous interior space. The interior is adorned with golden mosaics, marble columns, and decorative elements that showcase the grandeur of the Byzantine Empire. The mosaics depict religious figures, which were later covered or destroyed during the Ottoman period due to the Islamic prohibition of figurative imagery. After the Ottoman conquest of Constantinople in 1453, Hagia Sophia was converted into a mosque, with minarets, a mirab, and other Islamic features added. In 1935, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk secularized it and turned it into a museum, allowing people of all cultures and religions to appreciate its rich history. Number 8. Parthenon, Greece. 
The Parthenon is a temple dedicated to the goddess Athena, located on the Acropolis of Athens, Greece. Built between 447 and 432 BCE during the Golden Age of Pericles, it represents the pinnacle of Doric architecture and is a symbol of Western civilization and Athenian democracy. Designed by architects Ictinus and Callicrates and decorated by sculptor Phidias, the Parthenon is a marvel of architectural precision. The proportions and details were carefully calculated to correct optical distortions, with slightly inclined columns and a curved base. The temple housed a monumental statue of Athena Parthenos, made of gold and ivory and created by Phidias. The Parthenon's friezes and metopes depict mythological scenes and celebrate Athens's military victories, emphasizing the city's importance and devotion to its patron goddess. Over centuries, the Parthenon served as a Christian church, mosque, and gunpowder store. In 1687, it was severely damaged during a bombardment. The British Museum houses some of its sculptures, known as the Elgin Marbles, which have sparked debates over their repatriation. Number 7. Colosseum, Italy. The Colosseum, also known as the Flavian Amphitheater, is one of ancient Rome's most iconic monuments and a marvel of Roman engineering and architecture. Inaugurated in 80 CE under Emperor Titus, the Colosseum could hold between 50,000 and 80,000 spectators and was used for public spectacles such as gladiator fights, animal hunts, and mock battles. Built from travertine, concrete, and brick, the Colosseum is the largest amphitheater ever constructed. Its elliptical design and system of arches and vaults allowed for a robust yet efficient structure. The building includes four levels, each adorned with different architectural orders, Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian. The Colosseum featured advanced facilities, including a complex network of corridors and stairs for crowd control and a sophisticated set of mechanisms beneath the arena to raise animals and scenery. With the decline of the Roman Empire, the Colosseum fell into disuse and suffered damage from earthquakes and looting. In the Middle Ages, it served as a fortress, workshop, and quarry for other buildings. Despite this, much of its structure has survived, making it a timeless symbol of Rome's power and legacy. Number 6. Petra, Jordan. Petra is an ancient city carved into rock, located in southern Jordan. Founded around the 6th century BCE, Petra was a thriving trade center and the capital of the Nabataean Kingdom, which controlled the routes between Arabia, Egypt, and the Mediterranean. The city is renowned for its rock-cut architecture, with its reddish sandstone cliffs lending it the nickname, Rose City. Access to Petra is through the Sik, a narrow gorge 1.2 kilometers long, flanked by high cliffs. At the end of the Sik is the treasury, al Khazna, a monumental facade that is Petra's most iconic structure. In addition to the treasury, Petra features numerous tombs, temples, theaters, and sacrificial altars. The monastery, ad Deir, is another impressive structure, reached after climbing 800 rock-cut steps. Petra's hydraulic engineering is remarkable, with channels and storage systems supplying water in an arid region. The city declined after changes in trade routes and devastating earthquakes. Number 5. Angkor Wat, Cambodia. Angkor Wat is the largest religious monument in the world, located near Siem Reap, Cambodia. Built in the 12th century by King Suryavarman II of the Khmer Empire, originally as a Hindu temple dedicated to Vishnu, Angkor Wat later became a Buddhist temple and remains a major place of worship. Spanning over 162 hectares, the temple is known for its symmetrical architecture and impressive scale. 
The central temple complex is surrounded by a moat and consists of three rectangular galleries that rise to the central tower, which reaches a height of 65 meters. The walls are decorated with intricate bas-reliefs depicting mythological scenes and everyday life. Angkor Wat exemplifies the classical style of Khmer architecture, with lotus-shaped towers, vaulted galleries, and a harmonious integration with the natural surroundings. Its westward orientation, unusual for a Hindu temple, has led to debates about its possible funerary purpose. Rediscovered by French explorers in the 19th century, Angkor Wat is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has undergone restoration to protect it from natural decay, looting, and the impact of tourism. Number 4. Machu Picchu, Peru. Machu Picchu is an ancient Inca city situated in the Andes Mountains of Peru, at an altitude of 2,430 meters above sea level. Built in the 15th century under the reign of Emperor Pashakuti, Machu Picchu is renowned for its architectural and engineering marvels, making it one of the most important archaeological sites in the world. The city is divided into urban and agricultural areas, with terraced fields, plazas, temples, residential structures, and water channels. The construction technique known as Ashler Masonry, which involves fitting stones without mortar, has allowed the site to withstand centuries of erosion and seismic activity. Notable structures include the Temple of the Sun, the Room of the Three Windows, and the Intawatana, a ritual stone thought to serve as an astronomical clock or calendar. Abandoned after the Spanish conquest, Machu Picchu remained largely unknown to the outside world until American explorer Hiram Bingham rediscovered it in 1911. Since then, it has been studied, preserved, and protected as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 3. Great Wall of China, China. The Great Wall of China is a vast network of fortifications that stretches across northern China. Built and rebuilt between the 3rd century BCE and the 17th century CE by various dynasties, the wall served to protect the Chinese Empire from invasions and raids by nomadic tribes from the north. The most well-known sections, constructed during the Ming Dynasty, 1368 to 1644, extend roughly 8,850 kilometers. The wall was made using a range of materials, such as stone, brick, tamped earth, and wood, depending on the resources available and the terrain. The Great Wall includes watchtowers, fortresses, gates, and accommodations for soldiers. Its construction involved the labor of hundreds of thousands of workers, showcasing the organizational power, engineering skills, and resilience of the Chinese dynasties. Contrary to popular belief, the Great Wall is not visible from the moon, but it remains one of the most impressive and significant structures built by humans. Listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987, it is a major tourist attraction though it faces conservation challenges from natural erosion, vandalism, and urban development. Number 2. Pyramids of Giza, Egypt. The Pyramids of Giza, located just outside Cairo, Egypt, are the oldest and only surviving structures of the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Constructed during the Fourth Dynasty of the Old Kingdom, Around 2580-2560 BCE, the pyramids were monumental tombs for the pharaohs Khufu, Khafra, and Menkora. The Great Pyramid of Khufu is the largest, originally standing at 146.6 meters tall and built from approximately 2.3 million limestone and granite blocks, each weighing an average of 2.5 tons. The precision in the pyramid's construction and alignment with cardinal points reflects a sophisticated understanding of mathematics and astronomy. The Giza Plateau includes additional monuments, 
such as mortuary temples, mastabas, and the Sphinx of Giza, a colossal statue with the body of a lion and the head of a human, thought to represent Pharaoh Khafra. The construction methods of the pyramids have long been debated, with theories ranging from slave labor to organized, salaried workers. The pyramids of Giza are now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and continue to captivate archaeologists, historians, and tourists alike, representing the power, wealth, and religious beliefs of ancient Egypt. Number 1. Taj Mahal, India. The Taj Mahal, located in Agra, India, is a stunning marble mausoleum built between 1632 and 1653 by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in memory of his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who died during childbirth. Widely regarded as one of the most beautiful and romantic architectural creations in the world, the Taj Mahal is a symbol of love and devotion. The Taj Mahal was designed by a team of architects led by Ostad Ahmad Lahauri and incorporates Islamic, Persian, Indian, and Turkish architectural influences. The central mausoleum is built from pristine white marble and adorned with precious and semi-precious stones that form intricate floral patterns and calligraphy. The structure is topped with a large bulbous dome and flanked by four minarets. The surrounding complex includes a mosque, a guesthouse, and beautiful gardens laid out in a charba style, with reflecting pools that mirror the mausoleum's image. Designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983, the Taj Mahal is one of the most visited monuments in India. Its timeless beauty and historical significance make it a masterpiece of world heritage, but it also faces challenges, such as pollution and tourism-related wear, that have led to ongoing preservation efforts. The Taj Mahal remains a testament to India's rich cultural heritage and continues to inspire visitors from around the world. Its architectural perfection and the story of love behind it make it an enduring symbol of the human spirit and artistry. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Give it a like, comment your thoughts, and share this video with your friends and family.